know, there might be grounds and many different buildings. And there'd be a Buddha hall where they do ceremonies. There'd be a, a Dharma hall where they give lectures. There'd be a library and an eating hall and so forth. And then there's the Zendo. And the Zendo is the meditation hall. So Zen or Zazen actually means meditation. It's, uh, it comes from, if you've been studying Hinduism, you might have come across the word dhyana, uh, concentration or meditation uh, technique in yoga. And uh, Zen is the same word, dhyana, the Chinese kind of pronounced it chan, <laughs> and the Japanese zazen. Um, so it's kind of a corruption of that word, but it's the same. Um, so uh, in every school of Buddhism, uh, Tibetan Buddhism, South Indian Buddhism, Japanese, and so forth, there's, a, there's one area that's devoted to meditation. And the Zen school is the meditation school of the Far East, China, Japan, Korea, and so forth. So um, if you uh, came to a, a temple then, when you enter the, the hall, um, you want to come in with a sense of attention and awareness. That's what our practice is about. So um, I mean, this gesture in Japanese is called gasho. Doesn't have a big religious significance. Japanese all the time bowing to each other this way. So, but as you step into the the area beyond the soji screen there, and I ask you to do a little bow, just to kind of bring yourself to attention. And then you go in and take a cushion as close to the end as you can. There's one cushion there for me, but otherwise just go in as close as you can. And there's two things I'm going to ask you to do. When you get to your cushion, you do a little bow to your cushion. And then just wait until everybody's in, and then we'll all turn to each other and bow to each other. And I'll talk about that in a minute. Okay, so let's just...